Hi, this is Kellogg here and welcome to my at home art video series. So you're probably wondering why I'm wearing this hat. No, it is not Mad Hatter's Day. It is collage day. So today we're going to create a collage and I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's go over to my table. I'm going to tell you what a collage is and then we'll be ready to get started. So you're probably wondering why I am wearing this crazy hat. Well, this hat, I collaged this hat. So I wanted to show you all the fun things you can do with collage. So that is one example. But first, let me tell you what a collage is. So a collage is when you glue or layer it could be newspaper, it could be paper that you painted, construction paper, um, it could even be photographs. So here's one example of a collage where I collage some photographs. So like I was saying, you could even use stamps, you could use paper and some fabric. Okay, but for today's lesson, what we are going to collage, we are going to use some paper. I'm going to show you how to do that. And we are going to make a caterpillar. So it's springtime. I've been out in my garden and I have noticed there are a lot of caterpillars in my garden. So I got inspired to create a caterpillar. And I have to tell you, Eric Carl, that famous author and collage artist, The Hungry Caterpillar. Have you read that book? That's a good book to read. Um, anyway, that was my inspiration for my collage today. So I'm going to let you look up close at that caterpillar because I don't know about you, but I get a lot of great ideas from other artists. I make it my own original way, but artists get ideas from each other. Okay, let's talk about the materials you're going to be using for this fun collage. So the first thing um, which I always want to recommend is that you have newspaper or a mat under your table because we're going to be using a lot of glue with this, um, so that's good to do. So you want to have um, paper, you want to have a glue stick or some type of glue, and you want to have scissors. You can also uh, tear paper. You can kind of see that right here, how the paper was torn. So you can use the scissors and you can also use your hands tearing. Um, you can use any kind of paper you want. Like for example, this one I painted, so I'm going to uh, cut this up or tear this up and use this in my collage. Um, I may use some newspaper and I'm going to use some construction paper. You could even use, um, a lot of times you get magazines or you, your uh, family might get uh, junk mail um, that usually you just throw in the recycle bin. So any of the paper that you know you put in the recycle bin, you could use that too. Okay, so um, those are the materials that we're going to be using today. So I know you're going to have to look through some things to get your materials. So I'm going to give you time right now to stop the video and go gather your materials. So remember, um, you know, don't forget your scissors and your glue is really important and then any kind of papers you want to use. Okay, I'll see you back here. So I look forward to seeing you soon. Hi, did everyone get their materials? Okay, great. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing I want to do is let's just quickly review what is collage. So think about what you gathered. Think of your materials. And what is a collage? That's right. So you're going to take paper, photographs, or uh, newspaper, it can be fabric, um, that you are going to layer and glue. And that's what a collage is. Now I'm going to talk about 
something very important, those two very important elements of art that we're going to use. So paper, for example, is our medium. That's the art tool we're going to use. But those elements of art help us create our art piece. And we are going to use shape. So as you can tell, since we, in my caterpillar that I created, I used a lot of circles for my shapes. There's some skinny rectangles and then some ovals in there. Now, if you're, you really love making squares or triangles for your caterpillar's head and body, you can do that. So um, again, I'm just here to give you some ideas and inspiration, but you want to create your artwork in your own unique way. Okay. So the next thing after shape that I'm going to be thinking about when I'm going through my papers um, and looking at what I'm going to use for my caterpillar is I'm going to think about color pattern. And I know that you probably remember, especially from studying math, what a pattern is and what a pattern does. What's that one really important thing that uh, artists think about? when they're creating pattern and they're thinking about color in their pattern, for example. Again, uh, you guys are very, very smart because you are correct. So in a pattern, they're repeating colors, they're repeating shapes. And the other thing that artists think about, which you probably remember from the previous videos, is that when they put the colors next to each other, they want one color lighter than the other so they don't all start to fade away. See how that, we start losing the head when the colors are the same or the shade of the color is too close. Okay, so think about repeating your shapes, repeating your colors, and that light dark pattern. And that's what we want to think about when we are um, using color in our artwork. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I have my blank paper, I'm going to start cutting out some shapes. So you're going to notice here, I'm going to move my chair over and get set so you can see my paper. Okay, so now that you can see my paper, one thing that I'm really looking at is when I choose my papers, see how I kind of put my papers next to each other. So I'm kind of looking, do they look like they, they go well? Do I like my color pattern? So I'm happy with that. So now I'm going to start cutting. And so I'm going to focus on circles. So I cut out my first shape. And notice it doesn't have to be a perfect uh, circle or perfect square, whatever uh, shape you're choosing. But what you want to think about, um, to make this a little bit easier, this might be helpful. If you need to make your shapes, you want them all the same size, use your first one as a template. See how I'm going to lay that down and then I'm going to cut around and, and I just keep turning my paper as I'm working. That makes it a lot easier. And if it doesn't matter um, if you have them all the same shape. So that, that's okay too. So if you don't want to want to do that, then um, you can just kind of free cut them out. You'll notice I don't really um, get too worried about it being a perfect circle. I don't draw the circle out first with a pencil, but if that's something that you feel more comfortable doing, you absolutely can do that. Um, if you do do that, just make sure to turn it on the side that doesn't show the pencil. Okay, so now one of the other helpful uh, things I want to tell you is decide what color you want for the head. Okay, so because that's the first shape that you want to start with. So I'm going to place the head there. I'm not going to glue anything yet because I want to kind of design my caterpillar first. Um, and then 
the head's really important to start with because that's going to decide how big that body is. So if I have a very tiny head, I'm going to have to cut out a lot of shapes, which is, which is fine, but um, that's something to think about. The bigger the head, probably the less shapes you'll need to cut out. So, so now you know how to cut out your shapes. Um, this might be a good place for you to pause your video because that'll give you time to cut out your shapes. Okay, so, um, and then what I'm gonna do is I've got my shapes for the body cut out and the head, and then I'm going to start to lay them down on my paper and design my caterpillar. Okay, so now you have your, um, all your shapes cut out, the body uh, shapes that you need and the head shape. So now we're gonna start placing them down on your paper and designing. So when, um, I always recommend not gluing right away. Okay, so I'm gonna start to place. So I put my head, the head down first. So I have that, see what that looks like. Um, and I'm, you know, again, what I'm thinking about is color pattern here. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. Um, and then I'm going to go over to here, see what that looks like. Maybe I'll put that. Okay. And then I'm going to add another one of those. Let me see what that looks like. I like that on top better. And put this. And then maybe just for the very end. I just tuck that in there and see what that looks like. So now I have it. Do you see how I have the uh, the head of the caterpillar and the body going up? And I look at that, and if I like that, then I'll start gluing. But maybe if I don't like it, look at how I can move all my fingers, and then I'm going to get it moving this way. So this is kind of fun to do to figure out, you know, how you'd like to. I like that better. And so I've got that arranged. Okay, so once you're happy with the way you have it designed, then you start gluing. Okay, so start with the head and then work this way. Um, I find that the easiest way. Um, so I'm gonna glue the back of this, get this all nice and glued. Um, and then what I want to do is I'm going to place it down. So I'm going to press this side. I'm not going to press so hard on this side because I want to tuck this underneath uh, unless you want it on top. So see, this is underneath, this is on top. So again, that's you as an artist designing. So um, just look at things, see what you like um, and how you want to design it and then glue. Um, the reason why I like gluing, design, excuse me, designing first and then gluing is because um, then if I need to change it, um, it's much easier than having to rip all the paper off and then starting again. Um, now I went ahead and glued too much at the top because um, I need, I want to place those caterpillar antennas right in here so I kind of flip that up before it sticks too much okay now I'm ready to go to the next part here I'm gonna put this one on top I think I think I like that look better and then I just keep going so I just want to get the um, body glued down first and then I'm gonna to start to put the face and the feet and the rest of it in. So see how I glue and then I press down on this side to leave this open because I still need to tuck this under and glue. Okay, so I'm hopefully those um, tips will uh, make that the gluing process a lot easier for you. Okay, so now you have the body glued down. Now I'm going to start working on the head and the face. So I'm going to start making these little rectangular antennas and see what that looks like. So see, I'm just going to 
repeat my colors. So that's what I'm thinking of at this point. You know, that idea of color pattern, repeating the colors. I repeated the shapes. Now I'm repeating my colors. So I'm going to put that there. So I like that look. So then I can glue it. Um, now for the face, you have a choice because you could take a marker, or a pencil, or you know whatever you have, and make a draw in the face. Um, that and and you can even draw in the feet if that's something that you'd prefer to do. You can do that. Um, or the other option is you can use your paper here and you can cut out pieces or you can start tearing. So sometimes you get these irregular shapes by tearing and they look really kind of cool. So um, like if you didn't have a scissors available to you or, um, uh, or sometimes you know, you want to just cut some things because it's um, it's hard on your hand to, to cut all of these shapes out. Um, you can tear things too. So, um, because that's part of collaging. They tear the paper, they cut the paper. So whatever, you know, works best for you. Okay, so I'm going to do this idea of the teared, uh, tearing, excuse me, tearing the eyes. Uh, of the paper for the eyes. Okay, so I see how I cut that shape and I'm going to place that there. Okay, um, let me try out the other one, see what that looks like. Yeah, I kind of like that, so I'm going to glue it after I'm happy with it. See, even this you can do and then take a little marker and then make the eyes any which way, you could have them looking cross-eyed at each other, uh, looking, you know, put one on, you know, one corner. You know, again, just try it out, see what you like. Um, I've got a lot of little papers here, and I like that nose, so I'm gonna glue that down. Okay, get that in there, and I'm gonna continue with my, that torn paper look. Um, so I've got that eye in, whoops, in your hands when they're really tiny pieces, it gets challenging because your fingers get all sticky and the paper sticks to it. So again, if that becomes frustrating for you, you can always draw it in, the eyes in. And I'm not going to put a mouth on mine. Okay, so I have that. Um, and then now it's time to start cutting out the feet. So what I would recommend is triangles and see look I could rearrange them all different ways like this um, and they don't have to all be the same size that's kind of sometimes fun see look you could arrange them in different ways having them all walk in the same way you're making them look like they're jogging <laughs> you know just have fun with it and cut out the paper and experiment um, and collage does take some time, so a lot of times what I like to do, um, see how I'm cutting the triangle, so sometimes what I'll do is diagonal, cut, and then I got a triangle. Maybe I'll turn my paper and see, cut. So see, diagonal, cut, and then I can cut that way. Diagonal, cut. And then I cut that way, and then I got a bunch of feet. Um, but what I was saying that collage does take some time, so um, you might just want to work on it. For example, one day choosing your paper and cutting shapes out, the next day designing, um, the next day putting in a background. Um, so a lot of times I, when I'm collaging, um, I don't always do it in in like one sitting I do it in parts and then I come back and look at what I've designed with fresh eyes so then I see things and I go oh you know what I want to add this or no maybe I'm going to take that away so there's no right or wrong and you know if you look at something and you're not happy with it um it's in art that's not a mistake 
That's what artists do. They have to put things down, they look at it, and then they'll uh, change it. So artists, artists look at, um, if they look at something and they're, they want to change it, they're not quite happy with it, that's never a mistake to them. That's just an opportunity to problem solve. So that's really what art is all about. It's experimenting, it's discovering, and it's learning how to solve problems. So I am going to keep going with this and getting all these little fun feet and see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to shift that. I probably glued that too early. Um, and maybe this one. See what that looks like. So again, I just, you know, keep, keep going. Now you've got your caterpillar finished. So it's time to think about a background. So you've got a lot of choices here because you could draw in the background, you could use crayons in the background, um, and the other option is you can use your, the scraps that you have and you could collage the background. Um, so when you are collaging, just remember um, our elements of art because I find those very helpful. So think about repeating your shapes. That's helpful. And then the other thing is that that idea of when you're using color, think of pattern. So see in the ground, I'm repeating the colors. Um, again, repeating the shapes. So that is our lesson uh, on collage today. And I hope you were inspired and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so have fun and remember uh, when you are doing art, just relax and have lots of fun and just keep creating. So I will see you in the next video.